Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, August 25th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. This is episode 579, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Side Story of Fox Volant with Qing Junjie and Liang Jie confirms its premiere date. Ma Tianyu begins filming The Happy Seven in Chang'an. Zhang Zhehan goes on a bike trip with his buddies and shares some beautiful pictures. And Liu Wu and Zhao Lusi attend a brand event in Shanghai. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and yesterday. First, there's Investigator, a corporate modern drama starring Zhu Yawen and Wan Qian. It premiered yesterday, August 24th. According to Wiki, the two stars play risk and compliance investigators who help firms root out their corrupt managers. Their involvement in an old classmate's bitter family feud repeatedly puts them in life-threatening situations. Investigator is slated for 44 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs, but they're auto-translated. Then there's Chasing the Undercurrent, a crime modern drama starring Johnny Huang and Tony Yang. It premiered earlier today. According to Baidu, Johnny Huang plays a police deputy whose job pits him against his family. While choosing between family and justice, he arrests a suspected criminal played by Tony Yang. Chasing the Undercurrent is slated for 40 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. That's it for recently premiered dramas. Moving on, dramas that are confirmed to premiere imminently. I have three to update on, two of which star Qin Junjie. Firstly, Discovery of Romance, which stars Janice Wu and Qin Junjie. The modern drama recently announced an August 28th premiere. According to Douban, Janice Wu plays a furniture designer who thinks she's comfortably in love with her gentle and elegant boyfriend. However, a wrench is thrown into her relationship when she encounters an arrogant design company boss, played by Qing Junjie, who also happens to be her ex. Discovery of Romance is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Tencent. The other drama that stars Qing Junjie is Side Story of Fox Volant, a costume one in which he stars with Liang Jie. Yesterday, the drama announced an August 31st premiere. They also shared an action-packed trailer which can be viewed on YouTube. Side Story of Fox Volant is based on Louis Cha's wuxia novel, The Young Flying Fox, and like many of his other works, it has been adapted into a number of films and TV series. According to Baidu, Qing Junjie plays Hu Fei, a young martial artist who seeks vengeance for his father's death. But when he finds the alleged perpetrator, played by Ling Yushen, he has second thoughts. During his journey, he meets a young maiden, played by Liang Jie, and a medicine guru apprentice, played by Fair Sing, both of whom show signs of affection towards him. Side story of Fox Volant is slated for 40 episodes and will premiere on Tencent. And the last drama to update for this segment is The Disappearing Child, a modern drama starring Tong Dawei and Wei Chen. Earlier today, they announced an August 29th premiere. According to Baidu, Tong Dawei plays a man who goes on a frantic search when his son mysteriously disappears. The Disappearing Child is slated for 12 episodes and will premiere on Mango TV. I will update on all these dramas again, including where to watch with English subs, if available, after they premiere. Alright, drama bootings now, I have two to update on. White Cat Legend is a costume drama starring Ryan Ding and Zhou Qi. Yesterday, they shared a bunch of pictures from their booting ceremony. According to Baidu, the drama revolves around the Dali Temple and its White Cat leader, played by Ryan Ding. He leads his team members as they unravel different kinds of mysteries and adventures. The other drama that's recently started up is also a costume one. It stars Ma Tianyu and Bu Guanjing and is titled The Happy Seven in Chang'an. Earlier today, they released pictures of the booting ceremony on their official Weibo. It's been a while since Ma Tianyu has had a drama premiere. His latest one, Humans, came out early last year. 
Bu Guanjing, on the other hand, stars in the currently streaming 20 Year Life on Season 2. According to Douban, three vulnerable foreign girls and four guys, young and old, form the Happy Seven in Chang'an. The drama follows them as they tell stories in a broken down mansion. The drama is slated for 12 episodes and will premiere on Tencent. And that's it for Drama Bootings. Moving on, Nothing But You recently shared a message. Here's Sina Entertainment's coverage of it in an article titled, Nothing But You issues a statement in response to their kissing scenes being leaked, saying they have reported it to the police. Nothing But You is a sports drama starring Leo Wu and Zhou Yutong. They started filming in May, and from the pictures on their official Weibo, looks like they've started rapping some actors. On August 22nd, the drama shared a statement to say, among other things, that confidential videos and photos from the drama were obtained by certain individuals using illegal means. For that matter, they have contacted the police. They will also carry out an internal investigation to deal with the source of the leakage and to prevent similar incidents from happening again. And the last two drama updates I have today have to do with currently streaming dramas that are doing well on viewing charts. The first is Being a Hero. Yesterday, the crime drama starring Chen Xiao and Wang Yipo trended on social media for breaking 9,500 points on Yuku's popularity index. The drama shared the poster on their Weibo and added the message, Thanks to every viewer for their love and support. Please continue to stay locked on Yuku and together with anti-narcotics heroes, fight against drug production and trafficking activities and create a pure land. Earlier today, they continued their charge and broke 10,000 points. They shared another similar message to urge all to reject drugs and live a healthy life. The other update concerns Love Between Fairy and Devil, which, according to Sena Entertainment, opened on Douban on August 23rd with an average 7.7 .7 rating out of almost 194,000 ratings. That is a pretty good rating, and especially for an opening rating, 194,000 ratings is quite a lot. I guess many people felt compelled to come in early to rate the drama. As of today, it stays solid at 7.7 .7 and has over 309,000 ratings. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates, and today we begin with Zhang Zhehan, who if you go by his Instagram, is living well and active. He went on a bike trip with his buddies and shared some of the beautiful pictures with everyone. In this past week, Zhang Zhehan has posted a video or a picture or a series of pictures of the bike trip pretty much every day on Instagram. It begins with this one shared 8 days ago, a picture of him and his three buddies as they're about to head out. The message is, heading out again. Following that, the next day, it's a picture of presumably the same quartet, this time taken from the front. The message is, a picture before departure. After all, there won't be another picture of me this clean. The next day, it's a series of pictures from their trip. According to Zhang Zhehan, these were taken along the coast. And he doesn't mention when he and the boys went on this trip, but if this picture is any indication of where they went, they certainly stopped by Xiaoputuo, which is a small island in Yunnan province. The next day, he posted another series of pictures beginning with this one of a watermelon stand. He shared the anecdote that he met a grandma who had been selling watermelon there for more than 10 years. She refused to accept his money after he had a piece. After that, it was more pictures of him from the trip. Some of these, as he notes, are postcard worthy. They surely are. And there are more pictures, but the last one I'll mention is this, which he shared yesterday, of the biking foursome by a bridge. The message is, when you leave the house, walk out of the car, and really measure the land with your feet, the endless mountains and slalom rivers are not the only things you can see. Sharing mountains, rivers, and blue skies with your buddies. What an awesome way to spend an afternoon in the summer. Next up, Liu Wu and Zhao Lu Si were pictured at a Bulgari event in Shanghai. Here is Sina's coverage of it. They published pictures of the two stars of Love Like the Galaxy strutting their stuff and looking spiffy on the red carpet. Reportedly, Liu left the event early and said his goodbyes to Zhao Lu Si, who gave him a wave. 
The narrative on social media is that it was symbolic, since their drama, Love Like the Galaxy, ended its run not that long ago. By the way, the event was a star-studded one with the likes of Yang Yang, Chen Kun, and Zhang Ziyi, and others also in attendance. Moving on, it was Zhang Ruoyun's birthday yesterday. His wife, actress and singer Tina Tang, made him a cake for the occasion and took to Weibo to proudly share some pictures. This year, I made this, she wrote, as she posted three pictures. Here's to wishing Zhang Ruoyun a happy 34th. Now every time I mention Zhang Ruoyun, I get the same two questions, and those are when is Joy of Life Season 2 coming out, and when is Sword Snow Stride Season 2 coming out. So let me preempt it by saying, so far nothing has been confirmed. Zhang Ruoyun stars in both these dramas that were very well received. Both have highly anticipated sequels that are supposedly in the works. And lastly for this segment, an update on Jimmy Lin. His doctors have come out to refute some rumors about his condition. On July 22nd, 47-year-old Taiwanese singer-actor and race car driver Jimmy Lin got into that horrific car crash. Jimmy was in his Tesla with his 6-year-old son Jensen. Jensen came out of it relatively okay, the Tesla was totaled. A few days ago, a bunch of media outlets reported that Jimmy's condition had taken a turn for the worse. The word was that after undergoing a facial operation, he had to be fed through a nasogastric tube. However, two days ago, those reports were refuted by Jimmy's doctors. According to this Sina article, the hospital director Chen Jianzhong said the report was just a rumor. He emphasized that Jimmy Lin never used a nasogastric tube and added that after the facial operation, Jimmy was able to eat and drink on his own and even went home to recuperate. As for detailed medical conditions, he declined to comment citing privacy issues. On that note, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. To recap, last week's top web drama was Love Between Fairy and Devil with Esther Yu and Dylan Wang. And the top TV drama was Ode to Joy Season 3 with Maggie Jiang and Aura Yang. If you guys remember, last week was a super tight race between Love Like the Galaxy, Immortal Samsara, and Love Between Fairy and Devil. All three came within two points of each other. This week, however, I don't think it'll be as tight of a race. I'm gonna back Love Between Fairy and Devil and Ode to Joy Season 3 to repeat as champions this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.